students welcome to my live teaching learning session of vpag 174 sustainable development this course is related to sustainable development and this is very important topic sustainable development is the need of the present scenario at present we need this type of development like sustainable development sustainable development is different from economic growth and economic development sustainable development is related with need of the present generation as well as the need of the future generation if we can satisfy the need of the both generations then it will be called sustainable development but at present the number of population is increasing in whole world near about 8 billion people exist on this earth it means population is increasing but resources and fossil fuel or natural resources are not increasing if resources are not increasing but population is increasing then what will happen people will exploit all the available natural resources for satisfying the needs of the present generation they will exploit all the resources at a rapid rate and when present generation need will be satisfied but what will be happen for the future generation is any resources left for the future generation no impossible because resources are limited and wants are unlimited if people use all the available natural resources at a rapid rate then future generation need will not be satisfied and if future generation need we can't satisfy it means that development is not called sustainable development at present environmental protection is very necessary environment is polluted day by day due to higher or rapid increase in population growth and rapid exploitation of natural resources that's why we are achieving high growth rate of development but not achieving sustainable development so sustainable development is very important and it's a very its relevance is very much at present or in current or at contemporary world this is very necessary topic and necessary thing we should understand how we can achieve this sustainable development what is the meaning of this sustainable development what is the nature and scope of this sustainable development and what are the components and dimensions of this sustainable development and how we can achieve this sustainable development so in today's session we will discuss about meaning of sustainable development how this concept originated what is the nature of this sustainable development concept and features and scope importance of this development all these things will be covered in today's session so let us start from block 1 unit 1 concept of sustainable development now sustainable development the meaning of this sustainable development is sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generation it means 
if we can satisfy both generations need with the help of available resources then it will be called that we have achieved this sustainable development otherwise if we are satisfying the needs of the present generation but future generation has to sacrifice lots of things which present generation is taking that will not be called sustainable development so sustainable development is the development that meets the need of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generation need this is said by brookland commission of the united nation so this is the meaning of sustainable development and it's a very important concept at present because each and every economy want to achieve the sustainable development and it is very necessary because if we will not be able to achieve this sustainable development then future generation can't be satisfy their needs the brookland commission defined this concept in 1987 according to this brookland commission sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generation needs so it's very simple definition and this definition clearly say that sustainable development will exist when both generation need can be fully satisfied no one has to compromise if both generation can fulfill their needs then this type of development will be called sustainable development next is definitions of sustainability here sustainable development and the concept of sustainability was defined by different commissions and different economists like sustainable development this concept was firstly introduced and defined by brookland commission 1987 and it said that meeting the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs and what are our needs our basic needs are food cloth shelter education health sanitation and environment should be protected and we should we should have a good air quality qualitative air fresh water these are our basic needs and basic requirements if we can't satisfy these basic requirements then this development will not be called sustainable development and what is the meaning of sustainability sustainability is defined by john and renfield professor emeritus mit according to him the possibility that human and other forms of life on earth will flourish forever if all human beings and all species of the earth will live flourish and always flourish that will be called sustainability and sustainability can be defined according to african delegate to johannesburg rio 10 conference according to that conference sustainable development means enough for all and forever it means everything should be available to all and forever not for only present generation 
it should be available for all types of generation present and future both generation if they can satisfy their needs then this concept meaning will be clearly fulfilled so this is the definitions of sustainability next is sustainable development in order to be considered sustainable a pattern of development has to ensure that it meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs and this definition was given by brutland commission in 1987 there are some important concepts like sustainable development versus economic development sometimes we achieve economic development but can't achieve sustainable development we can't say that if economy is growing it means economic development is increasing but not we can say that sustainable development we have achieved sustainable development versus sustainability and third concept is sustainable development versus sustainable welfare all these concepts are interrelated with each other but there are some difference that's why we can differentiate between all these concepts economic development is a long term process is a continuous process in which real national income and per capita income and welfare increases continuously for the long time period but this economic development will not tell us about environmental protection if society is taking welfare if society is improving and the standard of living of the country people is increasing and national income and per capita income is increasing then we can't say that environmental is protected or conservative because if we are increasing the real national income and per capita income it means our production level is also increasing because if industrial sector will produce more goods and services then production will increase gdp will rise and due to rise in gdp national income and per capita income will always rise but if we increase the production of goods and services then we will use more machines technology and air will be polluted water will be polluted environmental protection will not exist then what will happen we can't achieve sustainable development at present in all over the world economies are growing they are achieving higher growth rate but they are losing this sustainable development at the cost of this sustainable development they are achieving economic development they are using this opportunity cost if you want to gain something you have to lose something that is called opportunity cost it means we are achieving higher economic development rate at the cost of sustainable development if we are will use more petroleum or crude oil at a rapid rate crude oil is a fossil fuel and it will not exist every time because this is a natural resource which is given by god or by nature it can't increase or decrease according to the man or human beings so if we use all the available natural resources 
at a very rapid rate that at present generation need will be satisfied but future generation needs will have to compromise and they have to sacrifice these resources they can't they will not be able to use these resources if present generation will use all the available resources at a very rapid rate so sustainable development is different from economic development sustainability tells us that everything should be available for all and forever that's why we can say that sustainable development and sustainability is interconnected or related concepts and sustainable welfare means all the country people whole country people of the world or whole country people whole people of the world should be higher living standard they should be have higher living standard and that will be possible if government will take initiative for the achievement of sustainable development so these are the different concepts and important concepts next is history of sustainable development how this concept originated after decades of limited success in eliminating poverty new ideas about development are emerging sustainable livelihoods approach represent one of these new ideas about development the term sustainable development came into prominence in 1980s the concept of sustainable livelihoods was an important element in the new labor administration's 1997 white paper on international development in the late 1990s the term had become one of a trio of principles undertaking underpinning uk development policy and the basis for the number of dfid means department for international development programs and practices so whole world level this concept was originated in 1980s that each and every economy should achieve sustainable development and government should focus on achieving this target and government should make some strategies to achieve this sustainable development this is the history of this sustainable development next is principles of sustainability there are so many principles of sustainability principles means general rules and we should focus if we want to achieve this sustainable concept then we should follow these principles first of all is sustainable development of environment you know that sustainable development is a philosophy that aims to achieve human progress objectives while simultaneously preserving natural system ability to supply the environmental resources and ecological functions that the economy and society rely on the first principle of sustainability is sustainable development of environment in this forest provide several societal and ecological purposes they offer houses and food for forest people preserve and enrich soils influence 
local and global temperature by evaporation of water and preservation and aid in the stabilization of the climate system by removing carbon dioxide. If all these things will happen, then sustainable development of environment will be possible. Second principle is sustainable development of biodiversity. Achieving sustainable development of biodiversity necessitate the preservation of biological variety, the maintenance of natural system and habitats and the sustainable utilization of the planet, species and habitats. People must adopt to conserve natural resources and use them wisely or ideally for mankind to thrive. Third principle is sustainable development of society. The concept of sustainable development of society states or refers to that human civilization must survive and satisfy their needs without compromising the need of the future generation. Fourth principle is sustainable development of people's resources. A company's economic sector, corporations or economies, human resources are the individuals who make its working, makes up its workforce. Human capital is a more specific term that refers to a participant's knowledge and abilities. Human capital should be formed and human capital formation is also very necessary for achieving this sustainability concept. Fifth is sustainable development of population. The process of intentionally preserving a population size is known as population control. But in whole world, population is increasing. And you know that India is the second largest most populated country in the world after China. But in coming years, maybe India will got first position in population. And the whole world population is near about 8 billion at present, which was earlier very less near about uh, 4 or 3 billion, but day by day population is increasing. So the process of intentionally preserve a population size is known as population control. It means the process of restricting the size of population or size of wildlife or human population sustainable. So these are the five principles of sustainability. First principle is sustainable development of environment. If you want to achieve this sustainable development, then we should protect, we should preserve our environment. We should develop biodiversity. We should conserve or preserve this biodiversity. Sustainable development of society. Sustainable development of people's resources or human resources. Sustainable development of population. All these principles are very important in sustainable development. Next is goals and principles of sustainable development according to the Brutland Commission report when this report had received support from all over the world some of its principles highlight the concept of sustainable development as discussed in Johannesburg Rio de Janeiro 
in 1992 and Agenda 21, these goals include one is eradication of poverty for all people from everywhere by the year 2030. At present, 2022 is going on. And the last month of this year. And the target is that eradication means removal or reduction of extreme poverty for all people from everywhere by the year 2020. 30, sorry. Next is ending hunger and achieving food security along with improved nutrition by 2030. Catering healthy lives and promoting well-being and good healthy lives for all ages at every place on earth by the year 2030. These are the goals of this sustainable development that we will achieve these targets in 2030. Next is origin and background of sustainable development. The seeds for the idea of sustainable development were planted as long as in the year 1972 in the Stockholm Declaration. United. However, the concept came into being in the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development held in Johannesburg, Rio de Janeiro in the year 1992. It was not until this renounce summit that the first world countries and major world leaders came to acknowledge the extreme needs of sustainable development in order to overcome crucial challenges that were to be faced. So the sustainable development seeds for planting when it was planted in year 1972 but according to Britland Commission this concept was originated in 1987 and defined by that uh, Brookland Commission. Next is scope. What is the scope of this sustainable development? Why we are studying this sustainable development? What is the scope of this sustainable development concept? Clearly many things fall directly under the scope of Sustainable development. Sustainable development play very important role in all the sectors or all the economic activities. In international trade, sustainable development is very important thing. Energy development, agricultural practices, education, healthcare, conservation priorities, all these things are related with sustainable development. So the scope of sustainable development is not narrow, it's very wider or broader. Johannesburg Declaration 2002 from the Earth Summit committed first and third world nations to addressing the worldwide conditions that pose several threats to the sustainable development of our people. It also mentioned a large number of these threats. Chronic hunger, at present in some countries, there are too much hunger present. People are living at a very lower standard and they are not able to fulfill their basic needs like food, cloth, shelter, education, health, sanitation. They are suffering from chronic hunger. 
malnutrition, foreign occupation, armed conflicts, illicit drug problems, organized crime, corruption, natural disaster, illicit arms trafficking, trafficking in persons, terrorism, intolerance, and incitement to Russian, ethnic, religious, and other hatreds, exnophobia, and endemic, communicable, and chronic diseases. Unfortunately, non-specific regarding actions and commitments from signatory nations, it means some specific commitments done by signatory nations, but not they are committed to fulfill that. So the sustainable development scope is very broader and in each and every field, we need to achieve the sustainable development like in international trade, energy development, agricultural practices, education, healthcare, and conservation priorities. Next is scope of sustainable development. We can explain the scope of sustainable development in this way also. The entirely of sustainable development is an international and collaborative approach that focuses on environmental developmental and sustainable aspects of the society that impacts its socio-economic development. It emphasizes its concern to the complex relationship between the environment and development. There is a trade-off between environment and development. If we want to achieve higher growth rate of development, then environmental will be environmental development will be hampered or affected badly. So there is a trade-off. But sustainable development concept tells us that we should not we should not uh, lose this concept and we should focus on achieving economic development as well as sustainable development. Without harming the environment, if we are able to achieve economic development, then this will be called sustainable development. So the uh, <clears throat> relationship between uh, sustainable development generally emphasizes its concerns to the complex relationship between the environment and development and searches for attaining all the developmental achievements along with maintaining a healthy environment for human and their activities. And the scope of sustainable development, as we said that its scope is very larger, very broader, not narrow, that's why each and everything, each and every field, we need to achieve this sustainable development. Next is the scope of sustainable development. In We can explain this scope with the help of these points. First point is the technology, economical, eth ethical, and philosophical aspects of sustainable development. It means in technical world, in each and every economy, ethical issues and philosophical aspects all required this sustainable development. Second is mutual connections and interaction of society, environment and growth, both economical and developmental. So there is a mutual connection in between of all this society, people, environment and growth. Growth may be economical and developmental. 
third scope of sustainable development is global sustainability as a common goal where the obstacles and aims are taken over as a group fourth is developing very fine implementing and monitoring policies for sustainable development we should make those policies those strategies and implement those policies and time to time monitoring those policies which is related for achieving this sustainable development next is sustainable use of water land energy and biological resources in development then we can achieve this concept if we use excess use of water excess use of land excess use of energy and biological resources if all the resources are used by present generation excessively or exploited fully then future generation need will not be satisfied and if future generation need will not be satisfied then the concept of sustainable development the target of sustainable development can't be achieved next is uh, there are some other scopes of this sustainable development taking initiatives in local and regional activities to increase the awareness of the relevance of sustainable development impacting the population and human activities on food and other essential resources of development sustainable development is not related, related with only natural resources or the resources which is given by god it's also impact on population and human activities on food and other essential resources of development finding alternatives to the shortcomings of sustainable development we should find out the alternatives and we should find out the substitutes of the available resources like the substitutes of petroleum is cng png and diesel and other things uh, cng is the good uh, substitute of crude oil so government should find out the alternative or substitute resources so that uh, these resources can be preserved and future generation or present generation both needs can be fully satisfied planning and economic growth plan that ensures least environmental impact and attending the urgent economic needs without compromising the global condition for future generation these are the points of scope of sustainable development next is what is the importance of sustainable development why we are studying this concept and why it is called very important concept in present scenario sustainable development so sustainable development is you know that sustainable development is very important concept very relevant subject because it combats with the environmental crisis while facing the challenges of economic growth sustainable development keeps in check the needs to leave enough resources for the coming up generation or future generation it also signifies good cooperating citizens this activity demonstrate 
that organization in healthcare system, big and small industries, all kinds of businesses and other occupations can coordinate their power and resources that will be profitable to the economical, social and physical environment in which we are living. So sustainable development is very important in each and every activity of the economy. Next is, uh, these are also the points of uh, importance of uh, sustainable development. <coughs> How we can say that sustainable development is very important. This sustainable development, uh, if we want to provide qualitative education and ensure all girls and boys and children get free, equitable and qualitative primary and secondary education despite their gender discrimination by 2030 or 2030. If we are able to achieve this target, then sustainable development will also be achieved. To achieve gender equality and empowering all women and girls of all ages, caste, religion and nationality. It will also include in sustainable development. Have the availability and sustainable management of clean water and sanitation for all by 2030. All these targets uh, are related with 2030 time period. Cater to affordable and clean energy which is reliable, sustainable and renewable for every purpose and for every individual by 2030. Promote inclusive growth rather than exclusive growth. Inclusive growth is a concept in which internal growth of the country people government a focus internal growth of the country people then external growth will definitely occur so promote inclusive growth sustained growth and decent work and economic growth for all and forever building a resilient infrastructure which promotes industrial and innovative infrastructure and remains inclusive and foster industrialization by 2030. It means we should promote good infrastructure facilities and promote industrial and innovative infrastructure and remains inclusive and foster industrialization. This target is also uh, fixed by the government that this target will achieve by 2020. All these points are the part of this significance of sustainable development. Sustainable development is very relevant, is very necessary for the achievement of all these targets which is set by the world level and which is set by each and every economy if all these targets will achieve then definitely sustainable development uh, target will be achieved next is to a some other targets are also uh, here uh, which uh, will tell us the importance or significance of sustainable development Sustainable, as we said that sustainable development is not related with only uh, preservation of uh, forest or natural resources. It is related with some other things also. That's why we can say that sustainable development scope is 
very broader, not narrow. To aim to reduce inequality within and among other countries by 2030. The main aim is to reduce inequality. You know that at present inequality is very uh, higher in between of rich and poor due to inequality or inequality between income and wealth. That's why society is dividing into two categories. One is haves and other is haves not. Some people are very rich and some are very poor. And rich becomes more richer and poor becomes more poorer. So there are too much inequality of income and wealth. And the aim of this sustainable development is to reduce this inequality within and among other countries by 2030. Next is ensuring cities and human settlements to be inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable for all communities. Next is responsible consumption and production which guarantees sustainable consumption and product pattern. It means consumption and production should be responsible which guarantees or which provide guarantees for sustainable consumption and production pattern. At present, the food which we are taking that is not uh, called sustainable consumption. If we are taking too much pizza, burger, patty, junk foods, this type of food is not called sustainable consumption. If people are consuming these things, that will not be provide guarantees of sustainable consumption. And the produce, the product which are produced by the producer are also not sustainable product. So uh, we should produce and we should consume those goods and services which are very which are very useful for achievement of this sustainable development. Next is <clears throat> initiating urgent actions to battle with climate change and its harmful impact on our earth. Each and every country should take urgent action to fight with climate change and to control its harmful impact on our earth. Next is strengthening the means of implementation and revitalizing the global partnership for sustainable development. Next is conserving and marine resources for the life that is below the water. So all these points are under this importance of sustainable development. Next is the global goals for sustainable development. In short form, we can see goals. SDG. Here 17 goals are fixed by globally for the achievement of sustainable development. If each and every country will able to achieve these set targets of 17 targets, these 17 targets, if each and every country is able to fulfill these targets and are able to achieve these targets, then that country will be called that country is achieving sustainable development. And what are these targets? These 17 targets or goals of uh, uh, globally, which is fixed by at global level for achievement of sustainable development is one is no poverty. 
poverty should not be exist in any country for the achievement of sustainable development. Second is zero hunger. It means each and every person should provide food for living. Zero hunger should exist in each and every economy for the achievement of sustainable development. Third is good health and well-being. Fourth is qualitative education. Fifth is gender equality. There is no discrimination between man and woman, male and female in each and every country. Next is clean water and sanitation. Each and every person of the poor world capacity, then sustainable development goal will be fulfilled. Seventh is affordable and clean energy. Energy should be affordable and clean, which is not giving any uh, contribution in increasing the pollution of the environment. Next is decent work and economic growth. Next is industry, innovation and infrastructure should be developed and should be emphasized on these sectors more. Next is reduced inequality. Inequality should be reduced so that all country people are in the same category. Not some people are very rich and no some people are very poor. No discrimination, no inequality between the society people. Eleventh target is sustainable cities and communities. All cities and communities should be sustainable. Twelfth is responsible consumption and production. Sustainable production and sustainable consumption should exist in each and every country so that this target can be achieved. Thirteen is climate action. Climate should be protected. Without harming climate, we should do uh, the activities of the economy for the achievement of higher growth. Fourteenth point is life below water should also be protected and preserved. Life on land should also be safe and protected. Sixteenth target is peace and justice. Strong institutions should made by the government for justice and peace. There should be harmony in each and every country and no battle, no fight between the nations will exist in all over the world. Then we can achieve this sustainable development. And 17th target is partnership for the goals. All countries should participate for the achievement of this sustainable development goals. Then these goals will be achieved very easily. So all these goals, 17 goals are fixed by globally for the achievement of sustainable development. And these goals are known as SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. Next is major dates in corporate sustainability. You know that 1987 is the uh, very known year. In this year, the United Nations Rutland Commission report provides this concept of sustainable development. One of the most popular definition of sustainable development given by Rutland Commission report Development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. In 1997, the GRI, Ms. Global Reporting Initiative, is formed by the United States-based NGOs or non-profit sales 
formerly the coalition for environmentally responsible economies and which tell us tell us institute with the support of the united nation environmental program unep next is 2002 that date is also very important for this sustainability concept the world summit in johannesburg extend the definition of sustainable development to embrace not only environmental aspect but also social inclusion and economic development sustainable development is not related with environmental aspect only it's a broader concept it includes social inclusion and economic development also according to uh, 2002 uh, world summit in johannesburg extend this definition of sustainability and include social and economic development also under this concept. In 2011, the Sustainability Accounting Standard Board, SASB, is created to develop and disseminate sustainability accounting standards. In 2013, the International Integration Integrated Reporting Council IIRC releases its framework based on the concept of multi capitals to support the integration of financial and pre financial data. And in 2015, the UN United Nations General Assembly adopts the 2030 Agenda for sustainable development accompanied by a list of sustainable development goals like SDG in which 17 objectives and 169 targets are set by UN General Assembly report. These are the major dates in corporate of sustainability or sustainable development. Next is features of sustainable development. There are so many features or characteristics of sustainable development. Sustainable development can be achieved when we attempt to minimize greenhouse gases, reduce global warming, preserve environmental resources. It emphasizes on green architecture and eco-friendly building practices. Next feature is use of natural biodegradable building material use of renewable resources of water we should emphasize on renewable energy sources such as solar and wind and protection of natural habitat these six points are indicating the features of sustainable development Next is objectives of environmental management. Environmental management is also very necessary because this environmental management establish some limits to use the environment and not to harm the environment. It warns threats and identify opportunities to prevent the environmental issues, solve the environmental related problems, to suggest some measures for resources, conservation, and to develop a strategy for the improvement for quality of life, and to identify new eco-friendly technology for sustainable development. These are the objectives of environmental management. Next is fundamental components of sustainable development. There are three main components of sustainable development. One is environment, second is economic growth, third is social equity. If environment is preserved or conserved and enhance our resources base by gradually changing the ways in which we develop and use technologies, economic growth should be revived and developing nations should be allowed a growth of equal quality of the developed nations and social equity, it means there should be equality uh, and developing nations must be allowed 
to meet their basic needs of employment, food, energy, water, sanitation. And if this is to be done in a sustainable manner, then it will be called definitely sustainable level of population. Now we can conclude from today's session that we have discussed about what is the meaning of sustainable development, what is the scope of this sustainable development, and what relevance or significance at present uh, in present scenario of this sustainable development concept. In this fast pacing world, where on one side we are reaching towards new heights of advancement, it is essential for us as a global community to take conscious steps and action that will ample resources for the coming generation, but nurse the issues that might cause a difficult tomorrow. So sustainable development is the modern and most sustained suitable solution for these problems. Thus more efforts should be put into reach the goals of sustainable development. Thank you.